Student athletes here in Connecticut have now missed a full year's worth of games, and that's definitely problematic for any of them that are looking to play in college. But it's not something that should be written off completely. We've caught up with the best of the best in the coaching world to find out what it takes for students to get a look and perhaps a commitment during the middle of a pandemic. It doesn't look or sound the same, but slowly high school sports are returning to Connecticut. The modifications, a small price to pay if it means getting to play the sport you love. Some student athletes are taking to the court or ice for the first time since March of last year. Other sports like football and wrestling are still waiting. For those running out of time before graduation, the idea of playing in college may now seem out of reach but it doesn't have to be. With the pandemic, we missed the actual part where you actually can sit in the stands and watch somebody play. The reality is you have to be creative and you have to take your future into your own hands. Hugh Gallagher, the men's basketball coach at the University of Hartford, says traditional recruiting has gone out the window. Players need to sell themselves and think outside the box. There's gonna be limits on scholarships. There's just this. And that's the hardcore reality of all schools. The more you're proactive, the better chance you have. Prep school and junior college are viable options for those who didn't have any potential landing spots after the end of senior year. Bloomfield football standout Anthony Simpson proves a success story in that regard. A Division I caliber athlete. Simpson had no Division I offers his senior year at Bloomfield High. After a prep year in 2020, Simpson's mentor and youth coach reached out to the University of Arizona. The new defensive coordinator, Don Brown, has deep ties to Connecticut and decided to give Simpson a shot. In a year where many college coaches can't travel to see players in person, word of mouth is crucial. You know, the hard thing is if things don't open up, like you don't, don't know the people you know they don't they don't understand your culture because they don't get a chance to visit and feel it and see it you know there's been a handful of coaches you know i get a you know two or three texts every day a couple phone calls a week um you know just asking how he's doing um you know as a kid not even just as a player uh you know they want to know these kids because they're not going to probably get to meet them until june or july this summer hopefully seven footer donovan Klingon of bristol doesn't lack interest from college coaches over a dozen division one programs trying to coax cling into their school but when it comes to making a decision that isn't so simple i got all these offers over the summer and i you know i want to go look at all these schools and check out all the campus you know the gyms uh, and I can't do that. I mean, I'm on Zoom calls looking virtually and it's not the same as seeing things in person. So that part's hard. With traveling on the back burner for now, local colleges and universities may be an athlete's best bet. At the end of the day, you want to represent the school, the community, because Hartford matters to us. Our tips for student athletes looking to get back in the game. Consider a postgraduate year of high school or a well-coached junior college program. Network with those around you, you never know what connection will pay off. Utilize social media and video to sell yourself to programs that can't watch you in person. And continue training, even if you can't play your sport right now, the hard work never stops. For student athletes right now, it's important to remember we're all dealing with the difficulties of the pandemic. We have additional resources listed on our website for students looking to play at the next level at fox61.com. I'm Kainani Stevens, Fox 61 Sports.